let's get going. And wake up. <gasps> Must admit it's incredibly bittersweet being back here. When I launched the game up earlier to test that it would still be working with my previous save file, I actually found myself welling up quite considerably. Extremely bittersweet would be the word. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Whoops. I see. No, bear with me. Ignore that. You didn't see that. <laughs> this didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, pretend you didn't see that. New exhibit. This was not here before. Hello. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. Maybe I should go and find it. Let's go and find it. <laughs> See, trouble is, I've read nothing about the DLC, so maybe it's shit. Maybe it's got like a million downvotes on Steam. Because it's like, they added a fucking satellite and it just flies around and beeps. This is new. <laughs> Feldspar. No, wait, Gabro? Is that Gabro? I think it might be Gabro. What are you doing there, Gabro? Stars above, would you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow, and look, look there! There's Hollow Lantern, there's Giant Steep, and the Quantum Moon! I'm speechless, I'm completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system looking stunning from every angle in each one of these three images, and in colour, no less. Now this is art. Hold on, what's that? That can't be right. That's, I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up on either of the other photos, just this one. Is there anything unusual about these photos to your eyes? Ash Twins, Giant Steep, The Interloper. Uh, what's that there? Not sure. Timber Hearth with the Atle Rock. Brittle Hollow. What's that? You're huge! Unless you're just closer to the polar orbit, what are you? Is the, is, is the fucking... Is the quantum moon in the photograph? Has it been photographed and therefore observed? Hmm? Or does someone have to be physically looking at the photograph? <laughs> is that it there? Is that it there? <laughs> Gabbro here. Checking in on the deep space satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment, ma uh, equipment problem. See, Hornfills, I do... do I do to work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. Oh, God. It's peaceful out here, amongst the distant stars and the soft, velvety darkness. Bet it's uh, yawn awfully nice for naps, too. Really? Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out there. So what was blocking the light from the sun? Is there something in the solar system that we're not aware of? Surely it would be generating light. We would have seen it. We've been observing the solar system for years. Engaging retro rockets? Nonsense, we don't need that. Overriding autopilot. I'm gonna take her in manually. I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. Prepare for landing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> okay, I made a slight error. <laughs> that was a little mistake. You might have noticed. The keen-eyed viewers might have noticed it. Wait, what? We're alive? You're kidding. What the fuck? Wait, what What part What part of the ship is left? <laughs> the answer is, not much. Oh. Here we go. Oh, look. What is that? I cannot seem to target it. What is it? There's nothing here. 
Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, oh, shit, the bed. Hold on. Fuck. Where am I? It's a ship. Hang on. Did I fly into like an exhaust port on a ship or something? None of this looks like the Namai. Maybe another visitor. Just like the Namai? Someone else was called here? Following the same signal? They were here the whole time, weren't they? Oh. Unknown language. Drat. So it's not another vessel of the Nomai. Bullshit. Oh. Hello? My light is triggering their technology. Reacts too light. Wood? Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, bloody hell. Holy, what the fuck? What the actual shit? Holy fuck. It's a bottle world. Oh my god. Another species came here, following the eye. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, sorry, I'm meant to be steering. Whoa, okay, sorry. Well, I hope they're friendly. The Nomai used a, what was it? A, like a super, super powered hyperdrive thing to get here. Maybe they did not. Maybe this is a generation ship. Flying towards the signal of the eye, just living here. Hence this huge artificial environment. Oh, it's making my head go wibbly. Where is everyone? Proportions of the table are huge. Look. It's up to my head. This chair is gigantic. The Namai are slightly taller than the Harthians, but these things must be massive. Could this be one of them? Two eyes. How novel. How do they see anything? Oh! Fucking hell! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit. Ooh, bloody hell! Okay, okay, whoa! Holy shit! Oh no! Wow! That is so cool! <laughs> So it must have been abandoned for, well, thousands of years to decay like this. I mean, here's our ride. Huh. <laughs> wow. Musical instrument, candles, sitting stars. That's their home world, that's not their bottle world. Fishing. Bipedal fishing, relaxing on their home world. That's their home, isn't it? That's their home solar system. There's nothing like that here. I wonder how far they travelled. Okay. Uh. No, wait. I need one of those devices. I guess this is their equivalent of their scrolls. The Nomai scrolls? I see. Okay. The Eye of the Universe. That's one of their representations. Oh, okay. Right. What's that? They're looking at the eye? Maybe it's just a representation of it. It's not the literal eye. I guess they didn't find it. 
marking it, scanning it. Is now really the time for a selfie? Vision? What? Okay. He's not using the eye for its intended purpose. He's using it to destroy. Turning everything to dust. Why? Why would you want to do that? What? It's not what he wants? He's realizing in horror. No, wait. Could this be what they realized when they arrived? That the eye was not something good, that it was only going to destroy them. He had a vision, didn't he? My mistake. They've realized that it's something horrifying, that they've made this trip for nothing? What does that mean? A school of the... That's one of their institutions, isn't it? Like a school for the eye of the un... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It brought down their society, didn't it? They turned their whole society into finding this place, bringing them here. And when they realized that the eye of the universe would destroy them, they burned it all down. Explosion. No. Error. In the slide? Something's gone wrong with it. It's corrupted. I can tell no more. That's our solar system. That's their ship. They hid themselves when they arrived. Why? Oh, shit. The water must have reached... That doesn't sound like water. What the fuck? What was that? The tower's gone. No, it just simply collapsed. A cave has opened up. I guess that's our next destination in a minute. Right. Oh! Oh no, it's, it's the Atle Rock. <laughs> I thought I found it immediately. So we always have to start this way because we're next to the dam. Dam. Huh. Fuck you, you smiled. I know some of you smiled. What happened? Oh, look. What could that mean? Maybe it's simply to change the amount of light. Maybe it just becomes twilight, maybe. The eye of the universe. Pulsing. Sending out a signal, a message pulsing deep into the universe contacting their solar system fear amazement joy shock excitement calling out to the others come and see this telling their entire species their entire society about it corrupted Unknown record. That's their system. Wait, the ship. Under construction. They poured all of their resources into going. Okay, and then they arrived. And that must have been when they received their revelation. So hang on, they weren't nomadic. That's important. That's very important. It means that they... They uprooted their entire society, their entire way of being. A, a, a sedentary planetary pla moon base, not planet, but moon based species to come here. And then when they arrive to discover that all of their beliefs, that all of this was for nothing, or rather would be their deaths, that must have been extremely difficult to accept. I don't know what it is. A door? 
Sarcophagus? Sealing what inside? Sealing who inside? Oh. They put the light through there. Chains? Sealing something? I don't know what that is. Need more information. Yeah, Jesus Christ, it must must have been horrible. I mean, can you imagine that? All of your societal beliefs just upended. What do you do? Presumably... Well, hang on, why didn't they just go home? Did something happen to their moon? Oh, no. Maybe they did die with the ghost matter explosion. Don't have long. Pick up, what's this? What's this thing? Some sort of... Oh, Jesus. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, just don't touch the thing, don't touch... Oh, hang on, no, the ghost matter doesn't work underwater, it's fine. Conceal hold. What does that mean? Dunno. Dunno. Oh, do you reckon I put a light source in there? Conceal the light source? Hmm. So wait, hang on. No, 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 no. Something doesn't add up. I've made an assumption, but it can't be correct. I assume that these people were killed in the same thing that killed the Nomai. But if that is true, then why didn't they meet the Nomai? Surely an enormous ship entering their space. Surely they would bump into each other. Which implies that perhaps they came in later. Three people, offspring. So they have endoskeletons, antlers. So that, yeah, so an internal skeletal structure. Definitely organics, they're not synthetics. They've only got two eyes, so it's doubly impressive that they've built all of this. I mean, they're half blind. Sort of like owl people. Again, I wonder if they're particularly religious. Are we really traveling? The sun, it's its huge, but it's tiny. Surely it would be massive if we were nearby. Look, look. Does that imply that we're moving away from the system? Is the ship detecting that the sun is going to go nova? Look, Giant's Deep is teeny weeny. Or is that just like, am I reading too much into that, I wonder? Maybe the, sh maybe the ship is trying to move away. So again, can you see how strange? I, I can't find any bodies. Which makes me think that maybe they're not dead. Maybe there's like a... What is it? Like a, an engineering deck and they're all, all, all on it? Yes, look. Well, I could just swim now. Look, there's, an under, there's a broken underwater bit. There we go. Okay. Wait. When a light is applied here... That's the mechanism that I saw. Do you remember? From one of their projector reels. I think? Is it? I can't tell. Beaming something down? Oh, I see. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. So I think we're moving away from the system. Are they watching their home go? They left everything behind to come all the way here, didn't they? Remember that the Nomai had those pods, didn't they? Maybe these guys had similar? Maybe they went to sleep, waiting for the ship to take them home? Ah, it's just another dwelling. What is that? I've seen those rings before on, an on another projection. Haha, <laughs> roast marshmallows. <laughs> Why not? Can I also just say that from a game design perspective, I'm extreme. I'm really enjoying the the fact that we cannot read their language means that we have to, in, as a player, we have to get the story visually, which means that the developers are having to, well, tell it visually. They're having to, through mechanics and through looking at things, we're having to determine what's going on. I like that. Okay, so, we went into this tower before, did we not? 
Is there a different set of stairs? Before it just had a bunch of murals showing their home world. Ah, okay. Hello. Okay, that's the tower. Oh, was this sitting on their home world? This same tower? Did they literally pick up the buildings and bring them on board? Oh, bloody hell. Whoa, crap. Oh, God. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. We're fine. That was cool. They walk inside their shrine on the lowest level. Hello. Their home. Their home system. Ah, one of the devices that we found earlier. The flame is covered. Whoa! Oh! There's a secret passage. Removing the light reveals a secret passage? It's not the same mural. I'll need to find one of their devices. There. We found the crew. They strap themselves in to just die? I don't know what their plan was. I don't know what these devices are. They're still lit though. Wait. This one is empty, why? Where are they resting? Okay, I think I'm going to be joining you any moment if I don't get out of here. Whoa, okay. There we go. So, again, I, I don't understand why they, d they chose to do what they did. I mean, so they just crawled into these buildings and died like rats when they discovered that everything was lost? Let's get back over there. Grab one of those alien devices that we found. Go to one of their hearths with the blue flame. Place the blue flame in the device and see exactly what they were trying to do. Why, ha why hold those devices in their hands? What does it achieve? Can I interact with the flame? No. Maybe I misunderstood? Okay. Maybe I, maybe I got the wrong end of the stick. I should keep exploring, I think. This is really cool, though. Just, uh, it feels... Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Looks like it's time for Cowabunga. Didn't expect that, but here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm not quite on the wave, am I? Woohoo! Okay. Surf's up. Here we are. Here we go. That's our home. They observe it. So this is after the revelation about the eye of the universe. Some of them are leaving. Some of them are giving up on their dream. An image of their home. What's that in the sky there? Oh look, they're consoling each other, they're hugging. They miss home. They realize that they've given it all up. They've left their home for nothing. They've come all this way. Chasing a dream. Okay. They take these devices. Unlit devices.
Suspended animation. The devices are lighting up as they go to sleep. They built a machine and then all fell asleep with flames in their hands. The same one, the same man as before. He's keeping the flame lit on a device. Here. They're not asleep. Or they weren't asleep. When reality got so bad that they couldn't bear it, they built their own, didn't they? It wants me to fire the scout launcher down there. Oh! I can turn it with the light from the scout? <laughs> oh, I love this game. What's that? I've never seen that before. It looks like it's the outer part of their hull. Ooh. Oh no. A malfunction? What is it? Error. System malfunction. Could this be why they died? I did see them go to sleep. That's one thing I was thinking this afternoon. And I can doze off just as I can roast marshmallows, but that just resets the time loop. I could try it. Surely their technology would not work on me. Here we go. Nothing. Wait. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, no, 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 I don't like that. Okay, no. No, 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 I do not like that. I don't like that. Okay, no. Game did not, do not like that. Where's my suit? I'm not awake. Am I? Hang on. Am I in their dream world? Oh. Oh. Reality was too hard. So they gave up on it, didn't they? They couldn't go home. So they made it here. What happens when I channel the light through it? I see. So this is their virtual world, isn't it? Oh, look. Oh. What was that? Right on time. The star is going nova in the real world. But I mean, is that it? I mean, they just... They just feels like they gave up. They just went into their dream world and just dreamed the dream? They didn't even try to go home? There must be more to it than that. Huh. <laughs> Hello. Music. Music. We'll get off here. Oh, fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. The fire went out. Of course. This entry point is too close to the, the entrance to the dam. So I wonder if I was kicked out of the dream because I fell into the water? Or was I kicked out of the dream because the flame was extinguished? Wait for the green. There's the green. Okay. So. We haven't tried this entry point. We've tried the ravine. We're imagining flowers from their homeworld. 
What is that? Wait. Was that my own footsteps? No. I'm just glad they're alive. Oh, oh God! Oh, holy shit! Oh my God! That made my heart go <laughs> proper. That made me jump. Okay. Sure they're gonna be friendly? Some random I mean would you be friendly if some random lizard burst its way into your home? Wouldn't you just pick it up and put it outside? Shit, there goes the dam. No, there goes the tower. Oh my god, look at this! Oh! Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god! They screamed! Oh no. Something's gone horribly wrong. Did they just seal themselves away and go crazy? Hang on to your butts! Oh my god! Here we go! Oh my god! Oh god, with the boat! <laughs> I need something! There's my boat! Hang on, come on, come on, come on! Give me my boat! Oh! Right, let's go. So, where does this take me in their network? Here I go. The whole device isn't in the network? The log called it a sealed vault. A vault of what? There it is. Rotate. Oh. Hello? What? Hello? The tower. There's an entrance there in the tower. Three codes? Something is trying to tell me it. Codes. It's a password. To do what? What does it unlock? Hello? A warning? Conceal. In the light? I'm being warned. They can see me approach. Un I'm unauthorized. A tower, a village, a swamp. This is the primary control system for the VR, isn't it? That's what that is. That's what these are. This is keeping the dream online. This is keeping it all running. That's the primary control system for that, for all three areas. It wants me to switch them off? Each one of those lights represents each one of the districts in this area. Which I haven't fully explored, which I probably should as well. Also, thinking, isn't this incredibly disrespectful? Isn't this like someone walking into, like, I don't know, like, Intel? Wherever they've got, like, some high supercomputer processor and, like, cooking up a, a rasher of bacon on, like, the, the exhaust port or something? This is clearly an extremely sensitive piece of equipment, and some savage primitive has landed his little toy ship and is now roasting marshmallows. Wait, no, wait, hang on. So he pointed at this, and he said he picked up the device, and then he went downstairs, didn't he? And he went to sleep. 
I think he's telling me to come here in the dream. It also has a picture of home. Every single picture of home has one of their... It's the entrance to one of their dream locations. He's telling me to enter the dream. No, I'm not sure what he was trying to tell me. I thought he was telling me to come to this tower in the dream. Oh, that's just the dam. But that means the room that I'm in is about to get flooded. Do I need to illuminate the lights in a certain order? No. I failed to understand something, haven't I? Also, good shout. Why am I the only one doing all this? I'm not the only fucking Harthian who's hooked up to this system. While I'm sweating my whatever off, whatever Harthian sweat, fucking Gabbro's sitting there playing his stupid panpipes up there, you wanker. I can hear you up there, 7.3 kilometers away, blowing away. Blow something else, motherfucker. I'm joking, Gabbro, you're a bro. We all love Gabbro. But still, get your ass down here and help me! What have I failed to understand? Was that not what he showed me? Both sides extinguished? Is it an order to them? One, then the other? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. No, okay. I think I've got it. Okay. The system controls what's going on in the overworld, doesn't it? Wake up. Okay. That worked. One of the symbols. All three of the symbols. And the records room. And that device. I, I, still, I still don't know what this is. We'll start here. It's a code room. These are the codes. Oh no. Oh no. Missing or torn out? So I've got two different codes. Where does one enter those? What is it? Someone's home. I can hear, I can hear him. Or her. Okay, let's cross. Wah. Look. He's watching footage of his home world. They got so consumed in their dream, they never wanted to leave. Legitimately, I mean, this is proposed as one of the reasons for why our own galaxy seems so very quiet. Alien races realizing that exploration is either too much of a hassle or is even impossible, and instead turning their resources inwards to just creating their own virtual worlds essentially how could reality ever compete with what you could conjure up from your dreams your imagination I mean I presume that there'd be like gods in here wouldn't they yeah they just created their own heaven it may seem gloomy to my eyes but they're owl people to them this is probably super well lit and cozy yeah, I cannot get through. Ghost matter will kill me. Oh! Oh god! Okay! Okay! It is accessible! Wow, I'm stupid! Okay, quickly, I don't have long. It's another one of their churches. The eye of the universe pulled down. They ripped it down from its mount? Ha, ah, the code that I can enter. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. One of their towers, just outside the records room, I think. Shining the light in here tells me that there's something there. A record, maybe? A projection? Next to the tower. 
There's a record hidden there, I think. Why mark them? What is it? Hidden away in that little valley? That looks like the room where I entered, isn't it? That's the very first projection room that I went to. I see. Could these be backups? Backups of their records? After the loss of the primary... The room that they sent me to, to get the... I assume the override. Maybe a shutdown switch? Could these be backups? Why? Why? Their records, their projections. They're taking them. No. One says no. He saved some of them. They're destroying them. They're making sure they can't come back. Why? Let's find some fucking stairs. Oh, there go the stairs. 62 mile an hour down river. Ah, I tell you what, no, I'm a genius. There we go. Genie ass, that's what I am. Probe, initiate the switch. This game has the unique ability to make me feel very clever and very fucking stupid at the same time. I just sent it up and now I can't record. <laughs> ha. Aha. Gotcha. Oh. Look at them clawing at it. I don't understand why they would do it with such, such you know, revelry. The door's locked behind me. They will let no one leave with it. it doesn't seem to be shame. It almost seems to be like just fucking evil. He's ripping off the cover. walking off with it. Is that their virtual world? What are we looking through right now? What's he doing? He crossed the ravine? I must admit, sorry, what was in my head has sort of been buckled. It's been sort of given a jolt, really by the unexpected level of, I guess, malice? That I'm, that I, the sort of vibe that I'm getting from this, these people now. I saw them fall into, into a sense of hopelessness, but I didn't expect such, I don't know, like gusto when it came to destroying their history. You know what I mean? It didn't fit the character that we were seeing before. What happened to them? Was it like a, a coup, essentially? Is there something hidden in the undergrowth? They were trying to destroy it with flamethrowers. There it is! Okay. They went to such great lengths to just smash apart their records. Look at him. That, this is the character that we've been seeing the whole exploration. The strangers. Watch. Why are they like that now? Look, see what I mean? Look at the character of it. They're surrounding it. Conjuring? Trapping? They look angry. He's got one of the code panels in his hand. Do you see that? He approaches another of his species holding the dream device. Gives it to him. So he's in the dream world right now. The originals were torched here. 
Where did you take that, sir? That's the house with the music. They're showing me where they took the codes. The fire isn't real. You walk through it. Obviously it's not real, it's a dream. Underwater, maybe? Hello. I take your slide. But you don't know that I've already got the scout launcher behind the door, which is engaging the mechanism. And all I have to do is that. Here we go. There it is. The tower. There's the code. In his hand, you see? He waits near the tower. Look, that must be a, rec a recreation of their original recording device that found the eye. He turns around and walks into a burnt representation of one of their churches and takes a boat. That's the village that I mentioned. Okay. They darken the whole village? He's carrying the code down. The central staircase, which I presume we can only access when the village is dark. Now, the first code... Remember the first code? It was carried down to that uh, room... It, w it was the room with the wooden tree down there. They carried the first code down there. You can hear it walking around. It was stomping a moment ago. Ooh, there, hear it. The lights presumably need to be extinguished, but how would one do that in the dream? Is there actually something here? Ah, okay. There is something here. And then, obviously I've run out of time now. Extinguish it. Okay. I see. Jesus Christ. Hello? Here we go. Now what's going to happen behind me? have a horrible feeling they might now be roaming. Wait, I've just killed his home movie, haven't I? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, shit, 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 Okay, okay, no, 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 okay, 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 okay. They are not partial to intruders. I see. He blew out the flame. Okay, he grabbed me. There was a slight graphical error. He held me through the wall. He grabbed me and he blew the flame out. I'm more relieved, I'm going to be honest. The fact that he blew the flame out. They're still sane. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck! <sighs> Damn it, I fell into the water that I didn't see. Shit, the kid's here. Okay, I'm going to presume. Here we go. Okay, I presume correctly. Okay, I've got it, I've got it. Hang on. Paper, quick, get ready. Get ready. Oh. Whoa! Oh, wow! Here they are! Okay! No, wait! Okay! 
They kept them. They're all here. Memories, their culture, their art, everything, all their records. They kept them with them in the dream. They merely destroyed the physical copies. I've seen that one before. Let me just double check. Yeah, so this is the one that I saw. Where they fell into melancholy. Upset and consoling each other over the loss of their home. But I thought that just meant that they couldn't go home. Wait, it's an intact record. The last one was destroyed. What did they choose to do? What is that? I see. They're designing their world. They're designing the dream. Recreating their home. And then this is the bit I saw. Entering their VR world. They're at home. Their world. No, a simulation. Only the area that they see is simulated. What happens when he leaves the radius of the torch? It's simply showing that the system is rendering only that which is near the torch, but he chose to walk away from it? Is it telling me that I can do that? That when I step away from the torch, the world ceases to render, including its challenges? Well, that answers that. Whoa. Wait. It too has been destroyed? In here? They destroyed the record even from within here. Fuck. Now what? Also, while, while we're here, I mean, holy shit, just look at the, the creativity from this specific developer. Look at this shit. It feels like other developers in this games industry can't even hold a candle to this one team. Here. Okay, quickly. Right, there we go. Their music, they preserved it. There's one of them, look. Fuck! Ooh, okay, 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 shh. Cross over, quick. Ooh, fuck. Yeah, what happened to the Nomai? Nice, friendly, calm, happy Nomai. Would have invited me in and maybe fed me, like, fish, like, treats or something. That alarm system will, however, stop me. But if I quietly approach... Ah, is that what they are? Alarm towers. Okay. Maybe that's why I have to switch off the whole village. Ah! Wait. So this is the vision that terrified them so much, isn't it? Their skulls, their species extinct, the universe destroyed. Look! Look what it represents! Their species gone, made extinct, but from that, new life sprouting, new galaxies being burst into being. Which is, kind of arguably, the purpose of the eye of the universe. Maybe they knew? Maybe that's what the final role of, of the, the witness of the Eye of the Universe... Maybe their species will... Shit. 
Oh no. There goes the tower. Oh god. The universe was dying anyway. Maybe they rejected that. Maybe they thought that in their dream they could hang on. Maybe that's what their species does. Maybe they, they refuse to bow to the inevitable. There's a tunnel here, look. Yeah. Okay. Is this one coming as well? Maybe I can beat him quickly. I mean, you know, hum. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. How do I get past them? Is there some way that I can distract them? So the issue is, I need to be able to get over there. But not from this entry point? Because this entry point is about to go underwater. Oh, wait! Of course! I get it. So, that wave has now drowned and killed the poor musicians. Their entry point into their network is also now gone. Their flame extinguished. This one in the tower will soon be extinguished too. Nevertheless, I should be able to use it to get back to their Opera, I suppose. Mm. Okay. What were you hiding? Yes. Okay. Virtual copies of their history. So they destroyed all the physical copies and brought them all in here. Hurry, I don't have long. Okay. Quickly, check it. I think this might be like a security override code or something. Have you destroyed it here as well? Ah! Why? I don't understand. What's so important that you would torch all written records of it? What is inside that vault? The eye of the universe. Bursting out a signal. So that is our solar system. He quickly alerts the rest of his species. Come see, come see. And they all take in the vision. Whatever this was, it changed their entire culture forever. Oh no! Oh no, no. Of course. No. There's no home to go back to. They destroyed it. So one of their number holding one of these devices, the world rendered around them, travelling from server to server, essentially. What happens when they travel? Download it. So are they being copied again and again? Wait. Wait. What? Error. He stepped out of bounds during the download, during the upload. What happened? Death? Did he fall beneath the map? What happens if I do that? Then this guy goes back, okay. 
He stops halfway. I see. There we go. Yeah, I suppose I'm trying to save their lives, but maybe they don't want. Oh, maybe they don't want to be saved. Right, let's do it. So we switch off. What the fuck? He says. They're coming down from their homes. Down we go. He sees me. He sees me. I see you. I mean you no harm. There, there, there. Is that the record? You see it? Fucking hell, fucking hell, fucking hell. Fuck him. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck, 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 fuck. He's coming, he sees me. Cross quick, cross quick. One of these the code? No. No. Fuck it. There, 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 go, go, go. He's still on me. He's still on me. Quick. Get into their records room. Oh, fuck, I thought he got me. Fuck me. Oh. Okay. Right, so this should be it. The last records room. Here we go. Are you burnt? Fucking hell. That's it. I've got no way of opening whatever it is. They found the eye. They scanned it. And it gave them a vision that interacting with it would cause the destruction of all worlds. And their entire species with it. At which point they turned on their previous belief system. They attack the churches, burning them down, destroying their records. But then what did they do next? This part was redacted. Here we go. What is it? Wait, wait. Wait. No. What were you trying to do? You were trying to... Seal it? You were trying to s contain it? You created a device to keep people away from the eye of the universe? You cut the signal. The Nomai. Do you remember what the Nomai said? They said that the eye stopped talking to them. They couldn't find it anymore. The eye stopped talking when they arrived. They did it. They found it and they cut it off in the time that the Nomai were either coming here. That's why the Nomai never found it. And then they just went dark and 
retreated into their own misery. He steps in. His brain waves are being monitored. Are they just testing it? Oh, you can see his skull there, look. He's fully interfaced with it. And he appears in their VR world, in their home. An elderly version, an elderly one, is being led forward. Very infirm, frail, look. Oh no. Dead? It doesn't work on the old? It kills them. No, wait. They get to live again. It's a consciousness transfer device, isn't it? So they can live forever in their home. Although Christ, just notice he was still old in the dream. Wouldn't that suck? You get to live forever, but you're still elderly. Do you get to run around and like, you know, do beach volleyball with the, you know, hot, hot chicks? No. You're elderly forever. Sit in your chair. Read your newspaper. Be racist towards the other owl people who were slightly darker feathers. Hmm. What's going on? The gong. Wait, the bell is being hit. One of those devices is inside the other bell, the vault. Is it meant to wake them up? They hear it. Okay, the gong is meant to pull them out. The elderly are presumably... Well, they're left in there. There's no brain to interface with them. Look, see? No brain detected. So they are fine. So is everyone... <gasps> oh no. There's only one left of their entire species. There's only one left. There's only one unoccupied bed on this entire ring world. All the others have corpses in them. Where is he? Lower the raft down, and then as the server is ch well, as the simulation is changing servers, so they can visit each other, let's jump off the boat and see what happens, hmm? To do. Here we go. Changing servers, and off I jump. Okay. Oh, hello. Whoop. Whoop. Oh. Oh, okay. Drop artifact. Normally I can't do that. Interesting. So this is the back end... Oh, of course! It's the records room. Stored beneath that VR world. Aha! Okay. <laughs> Can I drop down safely? No, I see. I have to stay on the surface of that water. Rats. Okay. We'll do it again quickly. So this is the back end for, I can't remember which district, which server? Now by doing this, I'm hoping to be able to see platforms between the other places that I couldn't see. No. Hmm. Okay. Ah, hang on. This one is lit. Extinguish it. Wait. Did I just extinguish one of the seals on the virtual version of the device? I did! So I can't get access to the machine in the overworld, but I can get access to the machine in the VR simulation. Okay, so there's another one over there. Cannot step forward because the alarms spot me. So when I was here, sorry, I uh, my assumption was... 
that these were control systems. It was the other way round. That these were control systems controlling each of the districts. But they're not, are they? That's just the back end. That's not like, this doesn't control that. This is just the back end subsystems for each overworld dreamscape. That was a sentence that I just said. So these switches specifically can seal this off. But again, what is this machine? Wait, were there two candles either side? No. Is there in fact a hidden bridge like the one before it? No. Hmm. Flame. Circly wobbly bit and then flame. No. Okay, do we have to fucking... Like, if there is a dude in the sarcophagus, he definitely thinks I'm fucking simple because uh, he's shown this to me like four times and I failed to comprehend. Wait, why can't I put that on the ground now? Okay, the alarms detect me the moment I approach. So the only way through is going to be with that code. Oh! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh. Hacker man! Right. Is it changing them in some way? Altering the light? See, I knew this, chat. I was merely testing you. So... You okay? Oh. Okay. One last seal on the magic box thing. There's something about this game that can make a live streamer feel very smooth-brained. They're gonna wake me up. Okay. Oh! Oh! Interesting! I was not aware that it's physically happening outside. I was right! They are all corpses. They cannot wake up. Okay. See, the third bug report was that if you don't have a brain to go back to, your consciousness will still linger. But I do have a brain to go back to. I mean, the chat's probably debating whether or not I have a brain. There's no way that I could stop myself from having a brain in the overworld that's to the point that the bell would be... I'd be immune to the bell. Is it asking me to drown myself to ensure that my body is dead in the overworld? Without my suit on, without my visor down, drowned, dead, so that my consciousness lingers to circumvent the alarm. I mean, I have to rely on the time loop to break me out of their system then. But would that even work? Because the, the Nomai device requires surely a living body. I've got a really bad feeling about this. There we go. Listen. So my real body is about to drown. I really hope this isn't a mistake. Right, it didn't work. I was simply woken up. This better not be really, really simple, because if it is, I'm gonna like lie awake in bed staring at the ceiling thinking how badly I've just embarrassed myself. Now, is there a way that I can die? Oh, oh, the chains are physically coming off. Okay. So I can doze off, but if my brain is killed here, how? Literally that? <laughs> this seems very silly. Okay. Vitals low. Right, okay, here we go. 
My brain dies, but the flame lights. The flame lights. Okay. 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 Right. So now, the bells toll, but I have no body to hear them. That's really quite grim. Same material, material as their ship dreamed into being. One of, one of the telescopes that they use to look at the eye. A room. The Another device, and it's lit. Someone is here. Someone is inside this part of the network. The shaman staff. A bed, instruments. Someone was living inside this thing. Isolated from the rest of their... People, why? I'm not rendering this. They are. Why are you here? Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, you know harm. Who are you? Why did your people put you here? Scanning himself, letting me see what he knows. Show me. The final projection, he's remembering it. He sleeps. He wakes. He's the missing cradle, the one that I found. He deactivated the eye shroud. He switched it off. The others wake up. And he's punished for it. They build the prison just for him? And then laugh as they walk away back to their dream. Sealing off the eye again. Why? It seems cruel. Project. Project what I know? Oh, sorry, dude. I'm showing him Timber Hearth. That's me when I was young. I'm telling him that all of his people have died, that his world has rotted away. I'm showing him all I know. I'm telling him about the Namai, the vessel. They got the signal and they came here. They followed in the stranger's footsteps. They initiated a jump, but they didn't make it. They crashed. Hundreds died. The Namai escaped to Brittle Hollow and the Ember Twins. Escape pods crashing down. 
They rebuilt their society and they forgot about the eye, no longer speaking to them because of the stranger. And then they too were all killed. They never found it. We arrived. Feldspar. The first of us found their writings. That's me. That's me when I was young. <laughs> and it inspired us to take up the Outer Wilds ventures and take to the stars. We are the Harthians. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. You're the only one left. trapped here, is he not? They're still on their homeworld. Wait. Together? the eye. Does he want me to go to the eye of the universe? He walked and extinguished his torch. That means his body in the overworld, he, he would have woken up, his prison free. Okay. But the question is, if I step into the water, will he be just a corpse? Is he really the last one left, or... get it. Of course. So I let him do that. I let him free himself. <gasps> the prisoner. He woke up and revealed the eye. Showed it to the Namai. They came here. I suppose that's what we showed him. That through his actions I guess that's why he was happy in the end. Someone else found what they were looking for. Well, I suppose not really. The Namai tried, but obviously they couldn't make it. Let's go to the eye. Fuck. No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Damn it! I thought I had it. Okay, there it is. Insert the warp core. Gravity restored. Okay. Locked. Hyperspace coordinates accepted. Thank you, brother. Engage. So the final tragedy of the game of Outer Wilds is that we could never save home. Timberhearth was always doomed. There was only 22 minutes left. All the people there, gone. In a few minutes time. And I'll be joining them soon. The Namai gave everything to try and find this and they failed, not knowing what it was. The strangers scanned it. They found it. And yet panicked and sealed it off with their strange device. The only life form that ever found it was a Harthian.
is falling through an endless quantum void where nothing is real until we observe it. The radio tower on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and housed some of the last ever photos taken of the entire solar system. One of these photos revealed the existence of an invisible ring world inhabited by a species whose presence in our solar system predated even the Nomai. This species travelled from another star system in search of the eye of the universe, but, horrified by what they discovered, decided to block the eye's signal so that no one else would ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision and was able to briefly release the, the eye's signal back into space before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. The Prisoner But without him, the Namai would have never found it. Without the Namai, we would have never found it. His species, I mean, they did what they did, but they were wrong. You'll see why in a minute. They were wrong, and the prisoner was right. Hmm. Ah, oh, Gabbro. Gabbro, Gabbro, Gabbro. Single-handedly the chillest dude, but also the most useless. They're writing. We never, were we were never able to translate it, were we? Oh, hang on. One of their devices. Six feet under? found out his name. We never even found out the name of his people. He framed my memories? <laughs> memories of our people. Of the Nomai. He cherished them. Along with his own. All dead now. As are the Namai. As are his people. I'm sorry you couldn't go home. Oh, you scary bastards. Will you stop doing that? I know that you're owl people. I know that you're like creepy because you're alien looking, but fucking hell. <sighs> you're welcome to join us. One last scare for the road, eh? When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too, d it was too difficult a truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated, obfusc oh, I can't even, uh, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. They just, yeah, they just hid in the dream. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so, a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Every decision is made in darkness. Only by making a choice can we learn whether it was right or not. I will wait until you are ready. Of course, we'll let him join. But should he start the song? Why not? We'll give him the honour. Your people may have had their fears. It may have stained them in the end. But they're still... They were still part of that universe. They deserve to be remembered. 
join us and let's see what happens. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. It's a pleasure to have met you. <laughs> I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free, yet here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yes. Then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. Hmm. <laughs> Gabro? Begin. It should be cool. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. How beautiful. It's different than I've envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it's to be feared. <laughs> they got over their fear in the end, eh? Thank you for watching, everyone. So, you can probably no doubt see why fans of Outer Wilds, for those who hadn't seen that before, are frustrated that they can't talk about it. It's one of the most beautiful game experiences you can never really talk about to anyone without ruining it. But suffice to say, after finishing the game for the first time, I started to spend more time with family. For the Hearthians had a mere 22 minutes, but, you know, we're in, ultimately we're in the same boat, aren't we? Take some time to smell the roses, you know? It'll be over quickly, so... I started going fishing with my brother more after playing the Outer Wilds, as you might have noticed. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just generally trying to relax a bit. But still, that was really wonderful, I think. I think as an inclusion to the base game. Yeah, really, really... I would definitely say that... It's, it is a certainly experience after the base game. I think um, it might be a bit too much to be played alongside the No My stuff, of course. I think that would be a bit too head melty. But, um, well, thank you, yeah, thank you for watching.